Hi, my name is Azarias uh, Basamanya, and I'm here to uh, just kind of walk you through uh, the construction on these frames we built for this uh, foam, uh, acoustical sound foam. Uh, anyways, yeah, real simple process we, we came up with here. Um, my sister and I, we actually built 40, 40 of these um, frames and uh, it went together pretty simple. But Anyways, basically what we've used is a well, three quarters uh, AC plywood and um, we cut it into two and a half inch strips which accommodates a little bit of room between the foam and the outside of um, uh, where the fabric wraps around. So there's just a little bit of space and so we get a nice tight um, uh, look on, on, the, on the sound panel. So anyway, so yeah, we got, uh, it took about 11 sheets of plywood here um, to do all 40 panels. So that's, that was pretty, uh, pretty good there. Um, what we've done is um, we take these strips of plywood and we build a box. So we have four pieces, two on each end, um, up right here. So you can kind of see here um, and they run this way and then these run this way and we join them together with glue and we screw them in with just like a um, two and a quarter, two and a half uh, um, drywall screw. Worked good for us. Um, and then uh, we put these laths on the back of the frame. As you can see here, we have four of them, one on each end here and then two in the center. And this way um, we have something to fasten the foam to um, for when it hangs so it doesn't uh, sag or fall. It's pretty firm, but just to give it a nice sharp clean look, um, we sewed this, uh, it's a sailor's twine, a hundred pound test waxed uh, sailor's twine. It's used for repairing um, sails on sailboats, but uh, I, you could probably use any kind of twine for that. Um, and basically we just got a big uh, darning needle and we came up through the face of the foam, two ends, tied it together here, and we did that in um, eight places. So two on each end and then two on each lath in the center. And so that holds the foam in. And then we, we finished furring out in between these because obviously these laths lay on the back of the frame and we glued those joints as well and we screwed uh, our, our uh, wood screws or drywall screws um, into this. Um, and then along these with these, uh, these laths here, basically a furring strip all the way around to give it a nice box square look. We used a trim nailer and glue and just tack those in. We didn't have to use screws on those. And then uh, basically all you do is get your fabric and you cut it to the size of your frame, oversize it a little bit. And, uh, and then basically you just lay this on top after you got your foam in, lay this on top and you pull this up, the fabric up over your frame and you, we, we tacked it in, as you can see, all the way around about an inch uh, space, your, your staples about an inch apart all the way around and uh, um, with a uh, uh, carpet staple gun. So one other thing I wanted to mention though is uh, before we put the fabric on, we actually took a belt sander just real quick and just touch up any loose glue or uh, you know some of the glue that might have uh, uh, goozed out a little bit and hardened, made a knob or something. Then also any slivers or uh, uh, chippings of wood or anything. So it gives it a nice clean um, edge to wrap your fabric around so nothing's poking out and giving you any shards anywhere. And uh, basically that is the construction of this. What we have also for hanging it on the wall, um, you got your vertical stud, 16 on center. And so we'd, we get the measurement of that where we want it on the wall. We would trace those um, measurements um, onto our frame up at, at the top lath. We drill our holes through um, to accommodate this, uh, this flathead screw. Actually, I have a, a thing of it right here, a, a box. Um, it's a modified trush head wood screw. Um, two and a half inch wood screw and they're, um, and they're, uh, this is just got a nice flat head on them. And that way, um, as you, uh, push this through the hole that you drilled, it, it has a, a hook here so it can hook on so it won't, um, so it won't 
slip off. So that's that's the screw there, if you can see that. Um, yeah, it's a nice pan head screw, and that works good in case uh, there's any vibrating or uh, someone bumps it accidentally. It's not going to fall off the wall. And here in Alaska, we get a lot of earthquakes, so uh, there's a lot of shaking and um, yeah, vibrations. So this way, this has been working for us real well and pretty simple process. And basically, you just set your saw up to two and a half inches. You rip all your plywood. And once you have a system, it comes together real good. And you, you know, um, you can just glue and screw and that's that. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And uh, it gives us a really nice, clean, sharp look on our panel. And uh, they're pretty light. Not, it's not a whole lot of wood, so it keeps them pretty light. So you're not, not struggling with them or wrestling with them. But you can see how it's nice and tight and yeah, dresses up pretty good. So anyways, that's a, a quick rundown <laughs> for the construction on these frames. And uh, we've uh, really been impressed with uh, this product. It's done us real good. So we're, we're really excited about it.